Pistols are usually something simple for you to whip out in a time of need, but throughout the years, there have been some pistols, let's be real, that are on the level of SMGs, and some were even better than the assault rifles. What's up, everybody? Chaos here, another COD History Top 10. Today, we have an updated list of the absolute best machine pistols in COD history. So you let me know which of these you use the most, drop a like on the video, stick around to the end to see what number one is, and we kick things off at number 10 with the Elkar 9 in Black Ops 3. Let's start off with what I consider to be a very underrated pick. It was a full auto pistol in BO3. It came loaded with a 20 round mag and it could kill in four shots. It had a pretty solid fire rate of 722 rounds per minute. The recoil, yes, it was a tad on the high side, but with how much damage you could do in a rather short amount of time, it made up for it. And the reload animation was snappy. It wasn't the kind of sidearm that you would be able to run around with and use as a primary, but it was a very reliable gun to have in your back pocket, and there were some pretty cheesy ways you could use it. It was strong enough that if you were to weaken someone with your primary, switch to your L-car, start spraying, you only need to hit them once or twice to finish them off, and that is where it shined. It wasn't crazy. It wasn't flashy, but it was reliable. Before we move on, guys, check the link at the top of the description. That is my Linktree link. If you go there, it has absolutely every link for anything I do on social media. Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, my whatnot selling page, my TikTok, my YouTube, absolutely everything. It is the best place for you to connect with me on all the platforms. Check it out. And now let's move on. At number nine, the Cat 45. Cat 45? Cat 45, Black Ops 4. Black Ops 4 had some ridiculous DLC weapons, and the Cap was certainly one most popular. It was an update to the fan favorite Cat 40 from Black Ops 2. Not quite as ridiculous, obviously. Fired at 800 rounds per minute, had very low recoil, had some moderate damage to its shots, and it made it a good choice for accurate tags on people close to mid-range, and, of course, to finish off weakened enemies. Now, due to the much longer time to kill in Black Ops 4 compared to other COD games, having a weapon like the Cap in your back pocket served as a similar purpose to the L-Car in Black Ops 3. You probably weren't going to run around and use this one as your primary, but it was really good for finishing people off, and since it took a lot of shots to kill in BO4, you would be switching to it often. It's probably the best sidearm in the game, if you ask me. At number 8, the Hornet in Infinite Warfare. Speaking of remaking the classics, it was a remake of the G18s from the original Modern Warfare 2, and it was so powerful in the right hands, it was actually banned from competitive play. Very similar to the Modern Warfare 3 version of the G18, but it had some buffs, some notable buffs, mainly in the recoil department. It maintained its big 20 round mag and high rate of fire, but it didn't kick nearly as hard as the previous version. If you stayed on target, the time to kill was insane, especially in a Kimbo mode. According to the in-game's description, the Hornet had the fastest fire rate in the entire game, but since people weren't really going in-depth weapon testing in the Infinite Warfare era, I'm not sure if that's accurate. I mean, I guess looking back in IW, there weren't a lot of bullet hose weapons, but regardless, the Hornet was absolutely insane in the right hands. At number seven, pre-patch, Psychoffs, and Modern Warfare 2019. Do you guys remember when the Psychoff was added to the game? Everybody freaked out. It was added to Modern Warfare and Warzone in late 2020. It was a shock. Nobody knew another gun was being added to the mix. At first glance, it didn't seem like it was a big deal. But the full auto attachment turned the Psychoff into arguably the best gun in the entire game, and Infinity Ward had to come up with the Nerf Hammer extremely quickly. The full auto Psychoff had a ridiculous time to kill while also maintaining that movement speed of a handgun. Plus, you could put this ridiculous 80 round drum mag on it with hardly any penalty to your mobility. For the first week or so after it was added to the game, everybody and their mother was running around with the 80 round full auto version. And it was it was terrible. Thankfully, both the Modern Warfare and Warzone versions were nerfed relatively quickly. At number six. The UDM, what a name, man. Infinite Warfare and their weapon names. Now, the Hornet may have been the most insane sidearm in Infinite Warfare. The UDM was probably the one you got the most out of, and I think it was slightly better overall. Full auto pistol, essentially a pocket SMG, and that was by design. The fire rate was moderate, and the default magazine was only 14 rounds. But where it shined was the damage per shot. It was high for a pistol, and there was a lot of helpful attachments and variants to make it better. Plus, there was a built-in red dot sight, so you could actually be more accurate with it than other sidearms. It was a good choice. It was one of the few sidearms that people would actually treat as a primary in this game, and I think this point in the video is where we're probably going to officially cross over into the ridiculous weapons. We arrive at the top five. The Amp 63 in Black Ops Cold War. Now, upon release, it was widely disregarded by everybody. But like many guns in Cold War, it didn't take long uh, for people to figure out that <laughs> it was busted in the gunsmith. It was a remake of the PM63 from the OG Black Ops game, which was one of the worst guns in the game, so the fact that the new version was kind of good took me by surprise. By default, the amp had 15 rounds in the mag, fired at 650 rounds per minute. 
but it would hit for a flat 33 damage per shot, and that is where you took advantage. With the right attachments in the game, you could break the game, and the akimbo options were a bit on the ridiculous side. By kidding the amp for hip fire accuracy and running them in akimbo form, you just run around the map holding down both triggers, get easy kill streaks. I think that were pretty ridiculous, but obviously not as ridiculous as what's to come. At number four, the G18 in Modern Warfare 2 2009, the original COD bullet hose. It was insane. There have been very few weapons like it. It came with a 33 round mag by default, 50 rounds with extended, fired at 1100 rounds per minute, people, while only needing three shots to kill with stopping power. Yes, the recoil was dumb, but a lot of people compensated for that by just running it in akimbo form with Steady Aim Pro and running around without ever needing to aim. It was some of the most ridiculous weapons we've ever seen in Modern Warfare 2, and that's saying something. Future versions, they toned it down, but the OG, if you knew, you knew. At number three, the Cat 40 in Black Ops 2. I may get some heat for putting it at number three because I know there's a lot of people that think it should be at the top of the list, but here we go. It was a machine pistol, had some pretty big drawbacks, but made all of it worthwhile with the damage output. The default mag, small, 15 rounds. Extended mags only brought it up to 20, but where the weapon shine was the accuracy. It's extremely high fire rate and the damage per shot. It could hit for 45 base damage. Breed shot kill without headshots, and since it fired at over 900 rounds per minute, the time to kill was better than a lot of SMGs in Black Ops 2. It got to the point that Treyarch flat out banned it from competitive play. It was just too powerful. When used correctly, it completely invalidated most of the SMGs in Black Ops 2, and for that, it gets the number one spot today. I know some people will have it at number one, but just hang on. At number two, the pre-patch FMG 9s in Modern Warfare 3. If I'm putting the FMGs at number two, you know something's dumb at number one. But the pre-patch FMGs, arguably game-breaking. And if they were never patched, they'd probably get the top spot. Fire rate of over 1,000 rounds per minute. Base damage of up to 40 per shot. Use them in a Kimbo form. You could kill people instantly. And during the first couple weeks of the game, the hip fire accuracy was tight. Especially with Steady Aim Pro on it. They were the most hated thing in the entire game. And Infinity, Infinity Ward had to step in and patch them. Today, they're high tier. They still have some insane time to kill, but they're much less accurate. And for that reason, they got bumped down to number two. There's one more machine pistol in Modern Warfare 3 that was never patched. And I'm really shocked people don't talk about it. At number one today, the hottest take of the video, the MP9. Yeah, Modern Warfare 3. I have no idea how this gun was put in the machine pistol category because it was literally a submachine gun. Yeah, it came loaded with a 32 round magazine by default. With extended mags, you could crank it up to 48. It fired at 900 rounds hit for a 33 base damage, had an insane two times headshot multiplier, capable of a two shot kill, again, while firing at almost 900 rounds per minute with 30 rounds in the mag. The recoil, low. Literally the only bad thing about it was the poor penetration power, so you weren't gonna get kills through walls, but who cared? I think this was the best machine pistol in Modern Warfare 3 and the best machine pistol ever put in a COD game. It literally was an SMG in the body of a pistol and the time to kill was one of the best. You could say the Cap 40 was more ridiculous or the FMG9 was more broken, but the MP9? Most versatile, most deadly, if you ask me. And I just realized we didn't put the Raficas on this list. Honorable shout out love uh, to the Raficas. I'll see you guys soon.